Hello, beautiful souls. I am at my favorite spot in Saratoga Springs, New York, at the States Park, and I wanted to bring you guys this lovely energy. Actually, let me move over just a little bit because the sun is shining. Hello, hello. I'm going to wait and see who else rolls on. Just got my latte from my favorite place and I'm here in nature. I'm going to turn it around so you guys can see and then we'll talk about the energies. We'll do a little auric cleanse. So hello beautiful angels. I'm just going to show you guys. Hold on, I'm going to turn it around for a minute. Can I? Why was this not working? Hold on a second guys. Let's see. Here we go. Okay, check this out. I'm bringing you guys these vibes this morning because it is so necessary because the energies are intense. Very, very intense. I know so many people are absolutely exhausted, exhausted for the last couple of days and it's not going to get better. Right. So this is where our skill sets come in. This is where we use what we know is best for medicine. And what I know to be my medicine is nature and music and sound, movement, breath and the power of prayer and the element of water. All right, can I zoom in with this? Ooh, I can. I've never done a live where I've had to switch it. All right, I will put this back on me eventually, but I just want you guys to really feel this energy. All right, I literally woke up at 2 a.m. in the morning and took a salt bath last night. Hello, thank you for joining. I had to emerge myself. I think I took four baths yesterday. I am going, <laughs> I, I, I am literally like living in the bathtub with these energies and out in nature. And I will tell you guys, we have to be impeccable with our energy field at this time and keeping ourselves clear because yes, there are dark forces and energies that try to get the best of us at times, all right? There's so many different thought forms floating around. And as a highly sensitive being, we pick up on those thought forms. We pick up on projections. We pick up the messages that people are sending to us and that are just floating around. And it can have a really big effect on our energy. It can cause us to be exhausted if we let it take over. So at this time, cleansing is so important. And I'm talking about forest baths, nature baths, taking a bath yourself and using the power of your imagination to visualize your light, your light, okay? So I'm going to put it back on me for a second and we're going to talk and then I'm going to, we're going to do a little, I think we'll do a nature activation meditation and auric field cleansing for everybody. I think we could all use that. Hello. Find somewhere where it's not so bright. Ooh, maybe we'll find a tree. Hold on a second. My hubby, he's back there. I take him on the journey. Say hi, Stevie. Hello. <laughs> Isn't this place beautiful? It's so beautiful. So how are you guys doing that are on this live before we even go more into the current energies and give a little activation? How are you guys doing? I also wanna say that I am thinking this is so necessary on Sunday for the Patreon community, for us to gather and do a light body strengthening um, activation, really building your light body. So I'm gonna, because those of you who are on here are in my Patreon community, 
I think it's really important for us all to connect and do live. So I'll send a Zoom link and I'll think about a time, maybe three o'clock. But I really want to strengthen your light bodies at this time so you can handle, handle these, these energies, all right? Because like I said, these initiations and everything is only going to get more intense as all that is not in alignment comes to the surface. And I'm not just talking about in your personal life, I'm talking about globally, all right? So guys, skill sets need to be on point at this time because it's not sustainable for us to just live in the bath. So us coming together to amplify the light, strengthen our light bodies, and hold the light and build that energy so strong and also put up energy um, barriers. I want us to start cloaking. We have to start cloaking our fields in certain ways because there are so many people that are projecting the energy and it can throw us off balance. So you give permission to who is allowed to have access to your energy, all right? You do not need to ha have your energy open for everyone for a free for all. It's very important at times that we have to cloak our energy and we turn off, all right? And that is for us to rejuvenate and to ground. A lot of these upgrades are like the massive awakening that happened in 2012. For so many of you, you had a massive life change kundalini awakening in 2012. And this is those this this is even stronger than that. So what happens? We can start feeling disoriented, like we don't even know who we are, questioning if we're going crazy, right? Especially for those of you who have gifts of um and you're able to feel different dimensions and tune into different aspects. You start to see things and feel things and life can really feel weird. It can feel like a video game at times. And I know this won't resonate with everybody that, cause we're all at different points. But I do wanna say that you are not alone. And that's why it is so important for us to have these communities. I see so many global communities popping up around the grid with healing circles and people being vulnerable and supporting each other and amplifying the light and activating each other, right? Because we all have codes for one another. Doing lots of good work and clearing for the land to help the channels to ground for Gaia's Crystal Core also. This is exactly how I've been feeling, thank you. Yes, it is very disorienting. And um, this week was huge energetically huge energetically so many of you were exhausted like no energy completely drained not sharing what the fuck was going on basically <laughs> because so much is shifting so much is shifting but it's the time for us to really come together and to amplify the light and know that we are stronger together right we're stronger together I'm gonna just let you guys see the beauty around me I love it it's like hiking boot sweater season I love this time of year in upstate New York so I'm just letting the energies come in before we do a little clearing activation. Just feeling into the space and as we feel, just take this in guys. And know that you are not alone. This is so important. You are not alone. So I invite you to take a deep inhale with me, a deep cleansing breath. Whew. And if you can, take me outside right now to a patch of grass, and ground your feet in there, and just stand strong and rooted. And if you're not having that available, if it's a different time of day, just stand up wherever you are, 
I don't want you sitting down right now. I want you to stand up. And visualize the soles, the bottoms of your feet, rooted and grounded. Rooted and grounded. Gomwa chanyara kanjiriyama. And take a deep breath in through the nose and exhale out the mouth. Affirm, I am a sovereign being. Anything that does not match the vibration of love is not allowed in my energetic field. I send back all projections not rooted in love with love to the senders. Right? So we send back what is not of love that is sent to us with love. We recycle with love. Feel a sacred flame of fire in the calves and the ankles, burning up the legs, transmuting, incinerating all negative thought forms and projections that have been sent to you, that have been placed upon you, that do not serve you. Reclaim your power in this now. Take a deep breath in through the nose, really ground into the earth and feel. Feel your sovereignty, feel your connection to the earth. Only love, only love. You choose what enters your field. You choose what casts away. You choose the energy you broadcast. You choose the energy you receive. Gorgeous. Deep breath in through the nose, exhale the mouth. Now we turn into the solar plexus for strength, personal power through awareness. That solar plexus energy is so important right now. So allow that golden fiery flame to incinerate anything in the solar plexus that is not serving your highest good. Any forms of manipulation, any psychic attacks, any energies that are not in alignment with your highest good, we incinerate in this now. We cleanse any inorganic structures and particles within our DNA that do not serve our highest good, right? So we have the power to choose what is in our reality. We have the power to communicate with our body and to cast out anything that is not in alignment. So visualize that belly fully luminous with that flame those sacred flames and we rise from these sacred flames and we take back our power with these sacred flames and when we are in our power we are rooted in love and our own awareness anything that is not of that vibration will incinerate and we will recharge and we will rejuvenate so visualize now that golden light in the belly getting brighter and brighter and brighter. You're standing, you're still standing because you're rooted, you're powerful. You're reclaiming your power in this now. You are not a victim. You are in full control of your energy, right? You are fully in control of your energy. Deep breath in through the nose, exhale out the mouth. Era charia con jere matonia caria sandaria tonia caria matonia cataria satria tonja. Esatorio ton darakina cataria tocha taria bachanza. 
Beautiful. Beautiful. Now, we let the cleansing begin. As if you are closing your eyes right now, close your eyes and allow that to draw you inward, still standing rooted. I want you to listen to the sounds. Listen to the sounds of the running water. Listen to the sounds of nature. And visualize your sense self standing in a beautiful waterfall surrounded by rainbow light. The most beautiful, magical waterfall that you have ever seen. And it's cleansing your auric field. It is cleansing you, removing energetic debris, removing black magic curses, removing black magic spells, removing energies that do not align with truth, removing all forms of manipulation in our genetic templates through processed foods, through medication, removing everything that has been programmed into us that does not serve our divine genome. And we cleanse and we purify and we bathe in this waterfall and this light. So let the rainbow particles and diamond codes activate. Use your imagination and visualize this waterfall of energy bathing you cleansing you and purifying you, spinning out that energetic debris and grounding you, stabilizing you. Zoria ma zoria kanjiriya ta satariya to e pambariya kumateriya ma. Deep breath in through the nose, exhale out the mouth. Beautiful, you guys are all worthy to receive this divine support and love. Beautiful. And just breathe and cleanse and breathe and cleanse. And let the whole body fill with these sacred flames now. As you're in the water, but you are still embodying the sacred flame. So it's a double cleansing using the power of the elements, the fire and the water. <sighs> yes. Yes. Oriya ma chara kara bara etarya ma. I invite you to open your eyes now and look at this nature and receive these light codes as if you were here with me bathing in this water ora re atari aton jere kamere amare hamata e sara machara e a e a ero yamare a e na bera let it wash away let it cleanse Isara vara 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 era mana inaga Isa doria mare amagaya era yare ari 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 om mun 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 Hasamacha hetaka repeat after me I am worthy I am love I am strong I am anchored I am rooted in my divine gifts. I am rooted in my power. Ema charya tarya oriva. Only love enters my field. Ita kamacharya. Feel the energy rising and grounding. Only love enters my field. 
A diamond light between the brows. Close your eyes and feel. I reprogram my cells to their divine expression. Anything that is not of organic light goes now. Anything that is not of organic light goes now. Use your voice. I reprogram my cells to their divine expression. Anything that is not of organic light goes now. Allow the eyes to cleanse, the right eye and the left eye to cleanse with holy light. Breathe it in. Hare Vanjiri Amaria. You are safe. You are supported. You can now sit down or lay down in the grass if you need to. Just fully just lay your body down and just listen. Just listen to these sounds. Feel it. Be here with me. Feel the medicine. This is like a tuning fork for you, right? These transmissions, my messages, the light language, the sound, the energy that emanates from me is a tuning fork to bring you back into balance. It is why you guys feel the shift after we do these activations and why it's so important for us all to come together and connect because we are tuning forks for each other to keep each other in alignment right how are you guys feeling now do you feel the shift feel the shift after this just take it all in such a beautiful shift. So I know that you guys are exhausted. And cold feet, but feeling amazing. <laughs> I know you guys are exhausted and I know it's been very, very intense. And I know it's scary when you can feel, I'm gonna turn this around so you can see the back of the water, right? That's better. I know that um, it can be overwhelming when you're shifting and you don't really know who you are or what the direction of your life is going in and you're being called to surrender and change right and you know that there's a higher plan but you don't have the answers that's where we're going right now we're going into this phase of completely trusting and surrendering right and remembering that we have the tools we have the tools to do this all right many of us that are on here right now have been doing we were been preparing with, for this for lifetimes we have so many sacred gifts and they are coming online. And guess what? Your gifts come online when you need to use them, when you're feeling disoriented, when you need to use them to heal yourself. And then you learn that they work. 
You practice them on yourself. You get to know the ins and outs of them and then you share them with the world, right? Mm. So beautiful. So beautiful. <sighs> I feel like you guys are here with me. A lot of ancestral clearing happening too. It's all perfect. You guys are all perfect. It's okay. Right? It's going to be okay. Look in my eyes right now. It's going to be okay. We've got each other. We've got the earth. We've got the tools. We just got to sharpen them and refine them for some of you. Right? And I'm here to help you you want a book a private session if you want the mentorship the mentorship is an awesome thing too you know you can contact me with that but I just want to tell you guys it's so you're not alone and it's so important in keeping your energy field clear and also being mindful of what energy you're broadcasting right like, what are you broadcasting? What are your thoughts? What are your feelings? What are you sending out? Because it comes back to you, all right? So if you're judgy, if you're wishing people harm and hatred, and if you're gossiping and talking about people, that's going to come back to you. That's going to come back to you. So reevaluate what you're thinking, how you're living, how you're treating people. Because just like you feel other people's projections, people feel the messages that you send out as well, right? People know when you're not in alignment. People know when you're bullshitting them. People know when you're lying. People know when you're gossiping and talking about people, you know? People feel it. Vibes don't lie. We feel, we feel. And that's what these energies are showing us. That like we got to get out of our heads and more into our hearts. And that's why light language and sound and nature is so perfect. It shifts our vibration from, an, you know, it's internal shifting. We're feeling our way through this shift. We're feeling. We're not intellectualizing it. We're not analyzing what it means. We're feeling our way through it. Feeling, 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 feeling. feeling. All the feels. <laughs> oh, how perfect. Nature, you guys. Oh, I almost dropped you. My latte. I just feel like hanging out with you guys right now. Hmm. Anybody want to come on live? Anybody feel like talking? Because I'll bring you on. I just feel like hanging out and supporting. I think everything is just like so divinely orchestrated when we surrender. A tip that I could say to you is that when I, um, when I wake up every morning, what I do is I say higher power, source, God, whatever you want to call it, right? What would you have me do today? What would you have me do today? How would you have me live my life today? What can I do to serve the greater good? And I literally pause and I listen and I write it down on a piece of paper and I do it in the order. And sometimes it's only two or three things. And I do those things. And I don't question it. I do it. And I show up. And when I'm in fear, and I'm in downward spirals, in my bathtub, I get in the salt bath, guys. <laughs> I get in the salt bath. And I offer it to a higher power. I say, purify. 
purify these thoughts. Purify all these things that I'm thinking that are not in alignment. Oh, you'll come on? Okay. Request to join. Is there a button to request to join? Okay, hold on. So before I pull you on, if you request to join, I can bring you on. How do I do this? Hold on. Let's see. Oh, wait. Go live with Daria. Is that working? Daria, send request. I'm sending you a request. Oh, Hi. Oh, girl. I am so happy. I'm, <laughs> I'm in my pajamas. That's okay. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. So talk to me. How are you doing? Let's go. Um, well, this was so nice. This was so nice. It's exactly what I needed. I'm working from home today, so I haven't been able to get outside. And since I just moved to, I'm a little like uh, tentative about where I go. Mm -hmm. So this was really nice because usually I go every day. I go outside um, hiking and some things like that. So, yeah, but I do that. What you said uh, in the morning, I tried to ask, what should I focus on today? And it's, see. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. It's, it makes a huge difference. I will tell you, yesterday when I asked, I was like, what should I do? What should I focus on? They said, call the doctor first, because you know I'm out of work right now with the uh, yeah. bursitis and the shoulder and the neck and whatever. And yeah. so. I called the doctor and they're like, oh, we just had a cancellation today. You can come in at two o'clock. And I was like, oh shit. You know, like it's just like the yeah. perfect flow. Um, yeah. Yeah. So it just works out like that. But wow. so you've been taking a lot of baths too. Yes. Yes. The baths, showers. I've been so exhausted and it's, I get um, like contact in my head. So I get a lot of pressure in my head and I know it's like sp from spirit. So right. it's sometimes when I'm trying to, I can't work easily um, with these that are happening. So I'm like sleepy and then I'm trying to focus, but I ask, you know, to help with focus. So uh, I notice if I really ask generally, sometimes um they'll pull back from me a little or assist in my focus so I can get something done. But well, let's every... help you. Let's yeah. help you right now with that because I want to release some endorphins for you and that will help with head pressure. And so okay. when we're having a lot going on, a lot of rewiring in the brain, it can be really tense in the head and in the body. And we can always ask to slow down and to release endorphins. So I would say okay. when this happens, you can say, spirit, can we release some endorphins? Release endorphins to calm this process down. So let's just, since we're on, and, like, I really want, I'm here to help you and assist you. Are you, ready? you. Are you open to this? Are you open yeah. to this? We'll just yeah. totally do this. And everybody that is on this live, you guys are going to benefit from this, too. So, you know, everybody feel this. This is a collective thing. We connect with each other. We amplify our lights. We amplify our lights for everybody that is on this video and everybody will receive. Hey. So, hey. All right. So first of all, get yourself in. If you want to prop me up somewhere so you can just like, <laughs> oh. if you don't have to hold it, or you can hold it too. I'm going to hold you because <laughs> hold it. Okay. I still haven't even put stuff away. <laughs> all right. So close your eyes. And the first thing they're saying energetically is we're going to scrape the tongue. We're scraping the tongue with white light. Cleansing the tongue of any ill talk about yourself that does not serve your greater good. When you put yourself down and you're hard on yourself, it is not serving your greater good. So let's cleanse the tongue. And the words that come off the tongue. So go ahead and visualize that white light peeling off the layers of negative self-talk, doubt, insecurity, and fear that are used with your language. And so we want to really just cleanse that. So really feel that whole tongue being cleansed. Mm. 
And then as you feel the light and visualize, use your imagination, sparkly light, cleansing, white, holy light, purifying the tongue, purifying our word, our language. Words are spells, right? Literally. <laughs> so just cleanse that out. And feel the joy and the light nourishing you now in the heart space as the tongue is being cleansed and the heart is being cleansed. So you can align with speaking words from your sacred heart. Let all the words that flow off you be rooted in love. Let all that you speak about be rooted in love. Beautiful. So anchoring that heart with pure white holy light. Really feeling the body experience band and joy and a higher vibration coming in to support you and show you how loved and nourished you are in this now. Now the energy comes in at the top of the head, right at the top of the head, there's a dot and it's going to spin. It's going to spin any energetic debris of negative thought forms that have just been a hindrance to you, that have been self-sabotaging you. We're just going to let that spin. Beautiful. Blow it out, blow it out, blow it out, blow it out. Let it all go. Right? So like the toroidal field really activates with this spin. And now we're going to think about things to program in your field, in your energetic field that you can radiate out to the collective and that you can embody more of. So Daria, I want you to think of the first five things that pop into your mind of what you want to embed and emanate from your feel, field and speak it out loud. First five things. Oh, love, kindness, grace, patience, compassion. Beautiful. All right, so let's see love written in the heart and in every cell of your being. Go ahead and visualize love actually written in that beautiful and then affirm I am love I am love I emanate love I emanate love I am rooted in love I am rooted in love and so we anchor lock and seal love into your vibration and you said compassion right so mm -hmm. let's say I am compassion I am compassionate compassion. I am compassionate. I emanate compassion. I emanate compassion. And go ahead and see compassion just anchored into every cell of your being. And just feel your field getting bright. You have chosen to emanate and be love and compassion. And so we'll do it with grace. Go ahead and firm. I am grace. I am grace. I am rooted in grace. I emanate grace. I emanate grace. Woo-wee! Do you feel it rising? Do you feel it rising? All right, let it rise. Let it rise in you. Beautiful. And so forth. So we just program everything that you stated, you have chosen. And you can do this. All of you guys can do this practice of when you're feeling low on yourself and you're stuck in those negative thought forms, you can really start to cleanse the tongue, cleanse the body, say, no, 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 no. I'm going to cancel out those thoughts and replace it with this. This is what I'm rooted in. This is what I'm broadcasting. This is what I'm embodying. This is what I'm emanating. And so now we're just going to finish up and I'm going to just give you a little bit of balancing. So let's just Weave that energy right in the skull, the cranium, the head pressure. We're going to release those endorphins. And just say, Spirit, I give you permission to release endorphins. Spirit, I give you permission to release endorphins. I align my mind, body, and spirit in this now. Align my mind, body, and spirit in this now. Thank you. 
Now, Daria, do you feel called to speak any kind of light language? Do you feel uh, called to speak anything back to me? No, I don't. I know okay. that it's there, but I just... You're not ready for it. I when guess not. Are, when you are ready, we will do that in the community because that will unlock so much within you. Okay. We'll, it will unlock so much within your heart. And so we're just going to envelope you in this beautiful golden light. Go ahead and visualize yourself in a sphere of light. And you affirm only love enters my field. Only love enters my field. I am love. I am love. And so it is done. So it is done. How do you feel? Thank you. I feel good. Right? Yeah. Doesn't like it feel uplifting? Did you guys yeah. all feel that? Everybody that's here on this live, I hope you guys are receiving the joy and the upliftment. Mad <laughs> <laughs> My friends are watching me. <laughs> they are. Hey, guys. <laughs> this is a part of my life that it's people right. don't necessarily know about so but you here know we are <clears throat> but daria that's part of your resistance right yeah when, now's the time once you let go of this the door is open all right once you let go of being in hiding and keeping certain things in your life separate the door is open all right you have yeah. i mean that's what we're all being invited to do is speak our truths and be who we are 24 7 and not give a shit what other people think if this is if this is a part of you that is your truth like your divine oh, your essence right mm -hmm. you have to embody it i'll tell you when i didn't embody it my body shut down mm. you know so yeah you'll get so much more energy when you truly say okay i'm doing this i'm doing okay this. Thank you for well, being I think so today great. was the day. <laughs> <laughs> and guess what, girl? This is on my page. I'm saving this live. <laughs> and this this is amazing. Yeah. I'm so proud of you for like Thanks. coming on here, right? Yeah, this is wonderful. That pressure was showing you to make more space and and you just made huge space for your gift, Daria. Lovely to see. Oh, Aww. thank you. Totally. Cool. I'm I'm really proud of you. Like you're such Thank a rainbow you. light. Such a rainbow light. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you for being on here. This was fun. We need to do I I've never done this before, bring people on except I brought uh Lizzie on after our healing circle. Yeah, I watched but that. It's fun to be interactive like this, right? Yeah. And I hear the little girl in you take courage. Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> You're amazing. You have so many gifts. I've said that since day one. When you first joined the Patreon community, I was like, he has so many gifts and so much light to offer the world. Good. Yeah. Really. You're, right. stronger. You're stronger than you think. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying to I really... Am. I am. I'll do my it. purpose. You're doing. <laughs> You're doing. Good. It. Mm. All right. So I'm gonna switch it. We're gonna. I'm gonna switch the screen. We're gonna look at the water. We're gonna all just take a nice cleansing breaths together. All right. Like let's just breathe that energy in. Look at that. <sighs> all right. We are all so powerful. So can we all just amplify that light right now? Wherever we're all tuning in from, from all over the globe, I want you to build your energy right now and fill with so much life force, so much love and radiance. And know that you are a force. You are a beautiful force of energy. <laughs> People over here. Um, so yeah, so know that you are just a powerful force powerful force of energy and just let, let that build 
<laughs> Daria, talk about um, coming out. I'm in the park. I know, my back. friends see <laughs> Poppy gone. <laughs> People are walking by. Hey. I'm, I'm like, you know, talking white language. All these people are walking by, throwing my hands up in the air, being like, visualize life. <laughs> Tell me now. Yes. Uh, so my friends are probably like, who's that crazy lady that sits in the woods all the time talking to trees? <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Anyways. All right. Well, I think this wraps it up. This is a great live. So yeah, thank, you. thank you. Thank for you. Energy. Thank you, everybody who contributed. Um, just show you guys that before we leave. There's my husband. Did you do this, honey? Were you in the back doing it the whole time? He was meditating against the tree. He just comes for the ride. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay. Anyways, so much fun. So much love. I am supporting you and we'll see the Patreon community members. I'm going to do something for Sunday. I think that will be fun for us. It's the best. Yes. Yes. Those of you who have not joined, if you're called to join, the link is in my bio. So, so much love. Bye, guys. Bye.